This tutorial is building off the previous two tutorials where I show you how to check your uh, local area network to see whether or not you're home by searching for your cell phone and then sending a text message to your cell phone. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can turn your Raspberry Pi into a home greeter so that when you come home, you, uh, you get greeted with a text message on your phone. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is log into your Raspberry Pi. This can be locally done or through SSH. I'm then going to navigate to the desktop to the greeter folder that I created two tutorials ago. And here we have checkip.py and we have sendtext.py. To save us some time, I'm going to copy sendtext.py to check send.py. So this will be checking whether or not we're home and then sending us a text message. I'm gonna open this up with vim check send.py. So we see here that I have my account SID from Twilio and my auth token from Twilio from before, and we send ourselves a message like this. So I'm going to leave that initial bit unchanged, but I'm going to now use what I used in the earlier tutorial where I'm going to import OS, and from time I'm going to import sleep, and from time, I'm going to import time. And that should be it. We're also going to need to know the IP address of Zan's phone. So we'll have uh, phone IP is equal to 10.0.1.25, which is what I had set up earlier. Uh, and then we're gonna have some status holders. So we're gonna have Zan status, which is a status holder for whether or not I am home. I'm going to start off, start, off not at home and then I'm going to have time elapsed and this will be uh, checking to so sometimes you know you might leave the network for just a brief moment you know if your cell phone drops connection or whatever and you don't want to have your Raspberry Pi uh, interpreting that as you leaving the house instead you're going to want to be able to make sure that you're gone so like you're gone for five minutes so time elapsed is going to be keeping track of how long you've been away uh, count in seconds how much time has passed we're going to have a start time and that is going to be equal to the current time and then we're going to have current time which is also equal to the current time. Then how often do we want to check whether or not we're home? Um, and this is how often do we want to ping? I'm going to ping every 10 seconds. And then how long do we have to wait before the Raspberry Pi gets lonely and determines that it is time to greet us now that uh, we have gone? So, you know, again, if you're gone for 10 seconds, you don't want to message yourself. So I'm going to say for 120 seconds, if I'm gone for 120 seconds, how long I need to be gone to get a reaction. That's the plan. So we're going to create a function here. It's going to be called send text, and it's going to be more or less what the code that you see below. So what we're going to do is we're going to print, execute the sending of a text here. And then I'm going to indent message to be part of uh, the function send text. And I'm going to change the body of the text to not be this, but instead I'm going to get a nice friendly greeting. And that's going to be, welcome home, Zan. All right, cool. So now we more or less put together what we had before. So we're gonna say while true, is Zan home is going to be equal to os.system ping dash c one. So what we're doing here is we're pinging Zan's phone and we're going to add in the phone IP address here. And then we're going to say if is Zan home is equal to zero, that means we drop zero packets, we're going to print Zan is home. And then we're going to say our start time, we're going to reset our start time to be equal to the current time. And then we're going to say if Zan status, which is currently zero, is equal to zero, 
then we're going to update it to be one. And then we're going to print the message. We should send a text. And then we're going to execute the send text function. Otherwise, if I am not home, or sorry, otherwise, if I fail to uh, get a ping back, so else, if this is the case, then we're going to print Xan is not home, we think. And then what I mean by we think here is if time elapsed is greater than lonely time and Xan status is equal to one, that means we've already sent the message, then we're going to say print Xan is really gone. And we're going to reset Xan status to be back to zero. And then we're going to update our start time to be equal to time. So then we're going to create a new value here called current time and it's going to be equal to time. Or sorry, we're going to update current time. And then we're going to say time elapsed is equal to current time minus start time. And then we're going to print just to, you know, this is a dummy statement, time elapsed, just to make sure that this is working. And then we're going to sleep for the check frequency. So in this case, it would be 10 seconds. So the way this program works is we're going to ping the phone first, and then we're going to determine whether or not the phone is on the network. If the phone is on the network, then we're going to say, hey, Zan is home. We're going to reset our start time, uh, and then if I was gone before, then I'm going to update my status to being home and we're going to send a text. So this is, I am not home, I am now home. So we're going to send a text saying, welcome home. Otherwise, if I'm not on the network, so else if I'm not on the network and is not home, we're going to evaluate whether I've been gone longer than uh, the amount of time it takes to recognize that I'm actually gone from the house and if I was gone before, then we're going to know that I'm really gone and we're going to update our start time, not stat time, that's a typo there. We're going to evaluate our start time to be equal to time and then we're going to say keep updating current time every time it cycles and we're going to uh, uh, calculate the time elapsed and then we're going to print it and then we're going to go to sleep. So the idea is we keep updating our time if I'm gone for long enough, it warrants another text message greeting me uh, saying that I've come home. So let's get out of here by hitting escape, colon W, colon Q, and now I'm out. So now if I launch this program using Python 3, I Python 3 check send, and it will ping whether or not my phone is home. So here it's saying we should send a text, and I just received a text message on my phone, we go to sleep for 10 seconds and our time elapsed is one second. So here you see that the time elapsed is actually quite small. We're home, nothing's happening. Now, if I were to take my phone and turn off the Wi-Fi here, so now I've just turned off the Wi-Fi, it's going to try and ping my phone and it's gonna find that I'm not there. And sure enough, San is not home. So now the time elapsed is 20 seconds. So if this approaches or goes over 120 seconds, then it's going to warrant sending a text message. So I'm going to turn my phone back onto the network here just to demonstrate that. And during the next ping iteration, which is going to be 10 seconds from now, it's going to trigger. And we see that Zan is home, but I did not say let's send a text message, so no text message was sent. Now I'm going to turn my phone back off now, so I'm going to leave the network, and this time I'm going to wait 120 seconds. I'm going to twiddle my thumbs or something, and uh, we're going to see what happens when I join the network again. All right, so now we see that more than 120 seconds has elapsed. Of course, no text message has been sent because my phone is still off the network. And now we know that Zan is really gone. Yeah, so we know that Zan is really gone. So now it's acknowledged that Zan is really gone. If I were to turn on my Wi-Fi now, I'm going to reconnect to the network next time it tries to ping. And so now it says, hey, Zan is home. We should send a text, execute the sending of a text here. 
and sure enough, I just received a text message on my phone from Twilio. There you have it right there. Well, I can't really, I'm not gonna bother focusing. You get the idea. So now it says that I'm home and it knows that I'm home and there you have it. I've now turned my Raspberry Pi into a greeter that greets me whenever I come home. So the idea here is, you know, like a greeter is not really all that interesting. Who cares receiving a text message that you're home? You know that you're home. But now it can, you, can, you can take what you've learned here and you can put it into other projects that you might be working on where let's say you turn on the air conditioner automatically because you pulled into the driveway and now the AC automatically sets to be a lower temperature. Now you know. So you're, you're home. Or if you're gone and you are gone for the weekend and you accidentally left the air conditioner on and you have programmed it to be smart, it turns off the AC so that you know, you're not wasting power because you accidentally forgot to turn up the temperature in your house or something like that. Or let's say you're working on another project and you want some sort of update, uh, like let's say your kids come home, it can scan the network to see that you know your kids' cell phones are on the network so you know little Johnny came home from school or something that day on time, or if he didn't. Um, so there you have it. You know, it's, it's a way to check people are home and then it's a way to contact you with an update from your project if it's uh, relevant to whatever it is you're working on. So I hope that you enjoyed these, uh, these past three tutorials. For more tutorials like this, visit thezanshow.com.